Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving systems of linear equation. And the focus of this topic is on how to solve systems of equation using the elimination method. So elimination method is one of the ways on how to solve systems of linear equation. So let's have item number one, and I will show you the step-by-step -step process on how to do it. In number one, we have solve the system using elimination method. So we have here the two equations form, forming a system. We have negative 2 x plus 3 y is equal to negative 1. Then we have 2 x plus 5 y is equal to 25. So based on the name of this way or method, elimination, the basic thing you need to do or to think about this one is you need to eliminate a variable in the given system for you to find the value of the other variable. So first thing you need to do is to check whether those terms with the same variables are aligned. In this case, all of them are aligned properly. So we have the x variables aligned, y variables, and the constants. So in this type of given equation, we can easily see that we can eliminate the variable x. Why? Because if we have negative 2x plus 2x, you will have 0. In this way, we can eliminate the variable x. So first, we need to copy the given equations. Negative 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 1. And the other is 2x plus 5y is equal to 25. So adding them vertically, negative 2x plus 2x is simply 0. And then for the variable y, you will have 8y. And this one is 24. So to solve for the value of y, just divide it by 8. So the value of y is simply 3. This is the value of y. Now, as you can see, you already have the first value of y or the first variable. Now, the value of the variable y in which the value of the value is 3, you will use is you will use this to find the value of x. So you have two equations. Either of the two can be used to si solve for the value of x. So next step natin dito is to solve for x. So in this case, I might choose equation number 2. I will use this one. So we have 2x plus 5y is equal to 25. So in this case, you will have y is equal to 3. So substituting the value of y, you will have 2x plus 5 times 3. You will plug in the value of y here to replace the variable y. is equal to 25. And simplifying this equation, you will have 2y plus 15 that is equal to 20. 5. And we need to eliminate 15 here simply by subtracting both sides of the equation by 15. So this is 2x that is equal to 10. Dividing both sides by 2, you will get x is equal to 5. Now, before concluding whether the, those values are correct, we need to check whether our answer is correct simply by checking it. So let's go with the checking. Let us check whether the value of x as negative as 5 and the value of y as 3 can satisfy the given system of equation. So let's have the first equation, which is negative 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 1. And the other equation is 2x plus 5y that is equal to 25. So let's use those values. So here we have negative 2 times 5 plus 3 times 3 is equal to negative 1. This is negative 10 plus 9, negative 1. Adding these two numbers, it will give you negative 1, negative 1. Are they equal? 
Yes, they are equal. The first val the value of x and y satisfies the first equation. Now let's find out whether those values can satisfy the second equation. So we have here 2 times 5 plus 5 times 3, 25. This is 10 plus 15. That is equal to 25. Are they equal? Yes, they are equal. If the two equations are satisfied, therefore, the solution of the system is 5, 3. This is the solution for the first given system of linear equation. Now, are you getting the process? Let's go with item number 2. For item number 2, it says here that use elimination method to solve for the value of x and y. So we have here 4x plus 2y is equal to 14 and 5x plus 2y is equal to 16. Now, in this case, there's no possible variable to be eliminated first or wala tayong madaling variable na, mad na may eliminate So we need to do something about it. Why? If we have 2y plus 2y, the answer is 4y. So we need to think, how are we going to eliminate the variable y? Simply copy, the, copy first the equation. You have 4x plus 2y is equal to 14. The other is 5x plus 2y is equal to 16. You need to choose one of the equations. So I, I will pick the first equation to be multiplied by negative 1. The whole equation will be multiplied by negative 1. So what is the resulting equation? In this one, this will become negative 4x minus 2y is equal to negative 14. And you need to copy the second equation. 5x plus 2y is equal to 16. As you can see, these terms can be eliminated if we're going to add them vertically. So we can add them. So negative 4x plus 5x is simply x. And then this is 0, right? And then that is equal to 2. Meaning the first value of x is equal to 2. So for our next step, we need to solve for y using x is equal to 2. So, we will choose from the original equations given here above. I will choose the first equation. So, we have 4x plus 2y that is equal to 14. And then, substituting the value of 2 to replace x, we will get 4 times 2 plus 2y that is equal to 14. This is 8 plus 2y is equal to 14 and to eliminate 8 we need to subtract both sides of the equation by 8 this is 0 2y that is equal to 6 dividing both sides by 2 the value of your y is simply 3 am i correct yes so the last part in our solution is to check whether those values can satisfy the given system so we will have the checking Two equations, 4x plus 2y is equal to 14, and the other is 5x plus 2y that is equal to 16. So you will use x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. So we will substitute the value of x and y to these equations. This is 4 times 2 less 2 times 3. 14. Simplifying this equation, it will give you 14 that is equal to 14. Are they equal? Yes. The, two, the first value of the value of x and y satisfies the first equation. How about the other one? So we have 5 times 2 plus 2 times 3 
equal to 16. This is 10 plus 6, 16. So are they equal? Yes, they are equal. Therefore, the solution of the given system of equations is simply 2 comma 3. That's it for item number 2. So, are you getting the process? Let's move on to item number 3. For item number 3, I set this one as quite difficult from the first two items. We have here 3x plus 4y is equal to 52. And the other is 5x plus y is equal to 30. So, as you can see, there's no such terms with equal coefficients. With x, we have here 3 and 5. So it's not easy for us to eliminate it. And for the variable y, it is obvious that they can be eliminated that easily because we have 4 and 1 as their coefficient. So what we will do is to think of a way on how to eliminate it. So first, we need to copy the given problem. 3x plus 4y that is equal to 52. And the other is 5x plus y is equal to 30. I will choose this equation to be multiplied by negative 4. Our target here is to have a negative 4y in this term. So let's have this one. Copy the given equation. Uh, I will write it in, at the bottom of this given equation. So we have here 3x plus 4y is equal to 52. And for the resulting equation, after multiplying it by negative 4, we will get negative 20x. Sorry, my mistake. Minus 4y is equal to negative 100. As you can see, at this point, we can eliminate the variable y. This is 0. So we have here negative 17x that is equal to negative 68. And to find the value of x, simply divide it by negative 17 and negative 17. So this is cancelled out. x is equal to what? The value of x is equal to 4. Now, next, next step natin is to solve for the variable y. Solve for y using x is equal to 4. So we will choose the first equation. We have 3x plus 4y is equal to 52. So we have here 3 times 4 plus 4y is equal to 50. This is 12 plus 4y, 52. So it, to eliminate 12, simply subtract both sides of the equation by 12. This is 0. We have 4y is equal to 40. Divided by 4, divided by 4. Your y is simply 10. So for the last time, you will check the given values or the values of x and y if these values can satisfy the given system of equation. So let's go with the checking. We have 3x plus 4y is equal to 52. And then the other one is 5x plus y is equal to 30. Your x is equal to 4. Your y is equal to 10. So plug in natin, or we need to substitute the value of x. 3 times 4 
plus 4 times 10 is equal to 52. This is 12 plus 40, 52. I think they are equal. So 52 is equal to 52. So it satisfies the given, the first equation. So we have to check for the second, second equation. This is 5 times 4 plus 10. Okay? So this is 20 plus 10, 30. So we have 30 is equal to 30. They are equal. Therefore, the solution of the equation of the system is 4 comma 10. That's it for our topic today. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have question or requested topic you want me to discuss, please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Thank you.